Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with uh, some Etsy shares, a couple of Etsy shares, and some Happy Mail. So uh, let's just jump right in. I have got this wonderful Happy Mail from Nicolette at Figaro Designs. Of course, I will put her um, put her link to her Etsy shop in the description box. So let's see. These are some items from her Halloween Ephemera Junk Journal Kit, number one in her Etsy shop. Hope you have fun using them. So it's got this fun little Halloween bag that's got spider webs and spiders on it. <laughs> oh, and okay, so these are things from the kit. So there's this and a domino and a plastic slide. It's got a little pumpkin and a spider web. A little um, little notebook, pumpkin notebook. A pumpkin pumpkin. Oh, it's a card. And this scary black bird, <laughs> the raven. I'm sure. A couple of um, ribbons, trick or treat, and then just fun Halloween colors. Happy Halloween paper there, pumpkin paper, jack o' lantern paper, and a jack o' lantern sack, and a jack o' lantern napkin. Fun. Oh, that is fun. Yes. Okay. So get these back in their sack. And then she sent along some of her digis as well. So we'll take a look at those. Um, but that's, that's a fun little kit for a Halloween journal. Let's just go like that. I'm going to put them back in the sack because... We've got lots more to go here. Okay. Yes. So that's from her Halloween Ephemera Junk Journal Kit 1 in her shop. Figaro Designs. Okay. Let's see if I can maybe zero in a bit more on these. Okay. So this one is the printable junk journal kit. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> I love that name, Nicolette. That's awesome. It's fall, y'all. Okay. So, oh, this is cool with the bales of hay, sunflowers, and wheat. Pumpkin patch. Harvest festival. I love the colors. They're very... They're very muted and pretty. Oh, how beautifully leaves grow old. That's a great sentiment, isn't it? And pumpkins and falling leaves. Oh, and then she's got some tags, belly band. Fun little things to work with for sure. There's an envelope. This is a pocket. These are really fun. Really fun, Nicolette. Thank you. Postcard. And then envelope and um, journal card, folding journal card. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I am going to pop this back on here so I remember what's what. You know, sometimes I need help with that. Okay, so that's It's Fall, y'all. And then this one is Halloween Children. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? You guys, if you watch my channel, you know I'm, I'm not a huge, I'm not even a little Halloween person. I, I've never done a Halloween journal, but this might convince me. Look at how cute they are. 
Yes, those are darling. Oh my gosh, yep. Oh, I'm going to have to do a Halloween journal. I better hurry up. It's almost Halloween. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Bewitched. Oh yes, super cute. Super cute. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, this is cute too. I know I'm going to definitely going to have to make a Halloween journal and I know exactly who I'm going to give it to. Look at how cute. Really fun. This is a fun, fun um, kit, Nicolette. I love it. Really super cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, well then got another I've got another to do on my to-do list I may be doing it after Halloween it may be for next Halloween <laughs> because gosh what's today the 13th or something of course when you see this it'll be even later but um and then uh this is words to live by Halloween collection this one Oops, words to live by Halloween collection. Okay, so yeah, too cute to spook. How cute is that? That'd go great with that, with that other kit. Oh, that's really fun, beautiful. <laughs> and there's all kinds of fun fonts. This is a scary font. Yeah, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, and cute Halloween, cute Halloween. Printable ephemera. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Cute little pumpkins and yeah. Oh, that is really cute. All kind of would work together though, wouldn't it? That's what's awesome. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just need to be able to get some extra hours in the day somehow. So many things I want to do. This one's called Halloween Creatures. Halloween Creatures. Look at that. You. 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 Yeah, that's scary Halloween right there. Halloween Creatures. It's that one. And then, I guess that's okay. We can leave that up there just so it holds the pages together. Magical Plants Ticket Mix. Oh, that's fun. That could be used for just anything. There's mushrooms and all sorts of pretty flowers on ticket form. Love that. Thank you. Oh, and here's the Magical Plants Junk Journal Kit. Let's take a look. I'm probably way out of camera now. No, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Magical uses. Cool. That's really cool. Magical plants. Hemlock. Death cap. Ooh. Didn't know there was a mushroom called that. And the magical uses <laughs> of each. That's really cool. Wolfbane, Mandrake. This would be awesome for a Harry Potter journal, wouldn't it? There's the tickets and stuff. Ephemera. There's all the names of the plants. Oh, that's really fun. Magical plants. That's really neat. Thank you so much, Nicolette. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Um, now I'll tell you, you've inspired me to do a Halloween journal and I never have been inspired to do a Halloween journal. I love the, those little kids though. That is a cute, cute kit. And this is fun. Haven't done a Harry Potter wizarding type 
journal, but that this would be perfect for in that. So that is all from Nicolette at um, Figaro Designs. So um, she had a really cute label too, but I can't show you without showing you the addresses because I don't have them covered up. Okay. So that is that. Then, um, once again, I ordered from my pal Emily at um, Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. I ordered some more of her paper because I'm obsessed with it and I love it so much. <laughs> and then just a couple other items, but I'm super excited to show you the one. I, I got some of this fabric already torn into the strips. Love that. Okay, so that's going to go. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited to, to pull this out. This is a needlepoint that she had in her shop. Look at the big piece that you get. I mean, seriously, I used to do needlepoint. That is a lot of needlepoint. And I think that is going to be two journal covers. Maybe not quite. Nope. Yep. It's um, it's 18 inches this way. And then over 12 that way. So that, so it will actually make four journal covers. Oh, aren't I lucky? So you got, oh, let me, let me zero back out. You're not seeing the whole thing. I'm sorry. I have y'all, I have y'all in and you're just not even seeing there we go. So anyway, this is 18 inches this way, 12 this way, and it's folded. So I'm actually going to get four journal covers out of that. Is that not incredible? Oh my gosh. I love that, Emily. I love it. Okay. So boho journal, here I come. I'm also kind of thinking about um, the Eclectic Charm collection from Blue Fern. I don't know if that would go with this. I'm going to have to take a look. I'm going to have to take a look. I'm going to fold it the other way. One of my pals tells me, don't fold fabric the same way or it's not going to be good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep the bag for that. Then Emily sent some new items coming soon. Woohoo! Oh, I just love Emily's shop. As she knows, I order from her all the time. Of course, last time you guys about cleaned her out, and so I haven't ordered from her for a while because I wanted her to have a chance to regroup. Speaking of that, do you know that my my pal Jackie at Art Fork? with the postage stamps, you know, you guys about put, put her out of business. <laughs> she had to put her shop on a break because she had so many orders. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for supporting these shops. I love them. And I just always want to share them with you guys because I think you might too. Okay. Okay. She's excited. I got the tapestry fabric. So am I. Um, Let's see. A couple pieces of vintage chenille bedspread that would make fun pockets. Some jumbo rickrack new in my shop, coffee dyed ticking fabric ribbon. Also sending you some new items I'm working on in my shop. This is why I waited a day to mail your order. I really wanted to give you these. <laughs> I'm resting some paper clips, safety pins, and paper clasps. There were a few done this morning, so I thought I'd send you some. Please note that they are not sealed, so some of the rust will may transfer to your fabric hands, paper, etc. I'm also sending you some new fabric ribbon. It is coffee dyed, then dried in the sun. It has a nice loose weave and look like something you could have fun with. Okay, she's, she's looking to have these in her shop by next week, which is perfect because this won't air until next week. 
Awesome. Thank you, Emily. I always I always love her notes too on her cool coffee dyed paper. Ooh, so here's the big old Rick Rack. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, what a pretty color. That's awesome, Emily. I love that. Okay, and then ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, I love this, Emily. You know what it's like? It's like a uh, tightly woven cheesecloth, kind of. Can you see that well? Let me just make sure you can see that well. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that's coming. I might have to order more of that. And I'm going to have to add it to my, to my fabric strips little holder things. Okay, and then... Here are her rusted pieces. Can you see those? Maybe I'll pop out a couple. So paper clips and these little um, and safety pins. And I don't know what you call these things. What'd you call them? Paper clasps or something? But those are cool. Those are really cool. Yeah, the rust comes off a little bit. So, but you could spray them with fixative if you don't want that to happen, which I may do. I may go ahead and do that because I can feel it on my hands. So, yep, I think that, but those are awesome. They look great, Emily. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so that's that. Oh, she sent some extra coffee dye. Oh, look at this. This is coffee dyed ticking fabric with some rusty bells. Those are awesome. That'll be fun for Christmas, that whole thing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then she sent some cards. Love that. That are all coffee dyed. I mean, isn't her coffee dyeing just so awesome? I love it so much. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, and here's the chenille. She said she was sending some chenille. That's pretty. <laughs> I'm having a giggle, Emily, because when my kids were growing up, they used to call this color baby poop yellow. <laughs> I wonder where they got that. <laughs> and it might have been for me. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh, and look at all her fun coffee dyed stuff she sent me. Oh, Emily, I just, I love your stuff so much. Look at the, the fun doilies. Oh, look at that. Is that, it's just, she just does such a great job. I don't, I don't know what her secret is, but I can't get the same effect. So I just, I just buy it from Emily. And these are, these are the weight that I was making those little um, ephemera folders out of. Ooh, and that is awesome. Some, um, either tracing paper or uh, parchment paper. I can't really tell. Maybe that's parchment paper. Thank you, Emily. Oh my gosh. I love everything, as always. You just just have such a fun grungy style my friend and I love it so much so there we go those are the new things from Emily so I will put her link to her shop of course in the description box and you go see Emily for some wonderful yummy stuff okay I'm gonna set this on my table and then we're going to take a look here at this, um, oops, one more package there. Uh, this Happy Mail is from Amber. Thank you, Amber. She had such a pretty little package too, but of course I've covered it up. Look at this, address cover-ups. <laughs> she knows I struggle. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Amber. And thanks for, you always comment. I appreciate that so much. Oh, I'm just excited to see what's in these little packages. Okay, let's see. Um, looking for 
looking for a scissors here. Just kind of, I'm scared to cut the package. It feels like whatever's in there is just right up to the edge, you know? There we go. There we go. That's pretty washy. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. She sent a journal, guys. Amber. Okay. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, and so grungy. I love it. So let's see what her... The little journal has been inspired by you. I hope you enjoy it. And <laughs> I'm not even going to say that because that's just silly. <laughs> okay. So she wrote down a bunch of the stuff that was in it. So we'll look through and maybe I can, if there's something we need to see, I can refer over here. Let me get you zeroed in. Okay, is that pretty good? Um, maybe I'll put her list right here so I cover up the shiny spot. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, Amber, this is awesome. Look how beautiful. Embrace beautiful chaos. I'd say that's a descriptor of my craft room. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. She's collaged over the over a paper bag. It's a paper bag journal. Love it. Oh, bunnies. Okay, let me make sure I'm in frame here. Okay, try and stay right there. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Okay, so this is like a little notebook with notebook paper. Oh, it's so cute. I love it, Amber. I love it. Little journaling card. Oh, oh, and one of the Crafty Irina pockets. This is cool. Images I found. Hmm. This is, looks like packaging maybe that she's, Coffee dyed and redone. Oh, that's so cute. Little burlap flower. Oh, so this is let me figure this out. Oh, oh, it's a tri it's a tri envelope thingy. So cute. Oh. Let life surprise you. Boy, doesn't it always. <laughs> Doesn't it always? Practice kindness. Oh, I love that. I love that. Collect beautiful moments. All collaged. Oh, love it. Amber. This is awesome. Okay, and then these might like that. Hold it down. Oh my goodness. Today's beautiful moments are tomorrow's beautiful memories. So pretty. Be kind. And the farm. A hug is a handshake from the heart. Oh my gosh, do I love that so much. I've never heard that saying before. A hug is a handshake from the heart. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. This paper, she must have made this. She must have made this paper. I'm looking down her.
I don't know, but it's beautiful. I love it. A hug is a handshake from the heart. That is just the best. Oh, look. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you, Amber. Lovely stuff, she said as she sipped from her key. Yes, lovely stuff this morning. Oh, and a little Mary Inglebright. I love Mary Inglebright. Boy, isn't that the truth? Most folks are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. Abraham Lincoln said that. What a wise man. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Oh, and look at this. This is so fun. What a great idea to put the whole, you know, to put several pages in. I love that. Love that. Not all who wander are lost. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. She's embossed on there. Oh, Amber, this is just beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. This. Some collaging and. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like this. Okay, this is a sack. Okay, got it. Okay, there's this. And I feel like, oh, that's from that side. Okay, got it. <laughs> Isn't it funny when you go through a journal? It's like just discovering as you go. Oh, isn't that a good idea? On a, um... This is a napkin. I recognize the napkin, decoupaged. And then she put the tablet right on there. That's a great idea, Amber. Look at you thinking up these things. Oh, every sunrise is an invitation to brighten someone's day. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. Oh, this journal just makes me happy, Amber. Thank you so much. Oh, so fun. Little bunnies peeking in there. Make a wish. They're die cut, I, I believe. Oh my gosh, this is just so such a treasure. Live, create, tell the story. Find the joy in the little things. Rabbit. It's got all the rabbit dictionary. Oh, it's the it's a it's like a Japanese or Chinese dictionary. It's never too late to be what you might have been. Yep. Just gotta go for it. Happiness is something that multiplies when shared. Yes, that is the truth, too. Oh, my gosh. This is just wonderful, Amber. She got that all um, stenciled and stamped. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Isn't that fun? And that just goes in this little pocket in the back that has a has a window for the flower. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, Amber, it's wonderful. Thank you so very much. I absolutely love it. I actually... Okay, she didn't sign this, so... But I think I'm... I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to put her name on it so I can kind of keep track. But, oh, my gosh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it, Amber. Okay, so I'm going to set it kind of just over here, I think. Get rid of, get rid of the box. Okay, let's see what, let's see what is in here. 
this is oh yep it's a she's covered a clasp envelope that's really cool feels really neat oh my goodness it's got all sorts of goodies in here oh there's the card <laughs> i opened the wrong one first probably but you know okay all right so now let's open the card my mother always taught me you open the card first so sorry about that amber <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. Oh, whoa. Thank you, she says. Oh, and it's on coffee dyed. Coffee dyed paper. Oh. <laughs> she loves to bumble with me in our craft rooms together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Her her real name's Amber Lee. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Thank you so much. Let's see. And she said these can be placed in the journal if you wish heartfelt and made by and her initials and then my friend this warm and friendly greeting is dropping by to say that you are fond fondly thought of thought about and wished a happy day wow can't hardly read that you are fondly thought about and wished a happy day that's so sweet thank you yes i will i'm going to set them right there by the journal so she sent some other goodies. What has she sent? Oh my goodness. Well, look at the, I have a bug flying around. Sorry, you guys. I can't quite get it. Got it. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. While I murder the gnat that's driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. It goes this way. And then, oh, look, she put a bunny on it. How cute is that? That's adorable. I love that. Love that. Okay, that's a piece of ephemera we need to make. Um, let's see here. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it feels old, she says. <laughs> well, you know, love the old stuff, don't we? Oh, it does feel old. You're right. It does feel really old. Ooh, that's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, just love old stuff. And probably love old paper the most of anything, right? Oh, look, she made me a bunch of the bunny die cuts. Thank you, Amber. That'll be fun. Okay. Gotta be smarter than the washi tape, Gail. Oh my goodness. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I'm not going to take those out, but those are the die cuts like she has in the journal. This guy. Oh, love those. Thank you so much. Those will be fun. Manila index cards, coffeed by me. Coffee dyed by me. Coffeed. <laughs> Ooh, aren't those fun? Ooh, look at this one. Where is that? It almost looks like a dream catcher, doesn't it? Am I like, where am I on my, oh my gosh. I'm all zeroed in again. I'm sorry, you guys. Whoops. I just get so excited. So you probably probably didn't see this well, but I'll show you again because it was probably in your face. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay, and then coffee dyed 
index card. Call this a receipt ribbon for lack of better words. I have lots of it. Oh, it's like the, um, yeah, it is. It's like receipt ribbon, isn't it? Cool. Thank you. It's just, somebody said on one of my um, Happy Mail videos, it's so fun to see what people in other parts of the country are able to find to use in their journals. And that's what I think too. It's just, it's so cool to see the stuff people can come up with. Okay. Then um, some laces. Little variety, little variety lace pack there. Ooh, that is, that is pretty. So pretty. Isn't that cute how she did that? It looks like a bow here. That's so cute. Thank you, Amber. Doilies, I've coffee dyed in the oven. Awesome. I love it. Use them all the time, so love that. Little baggies, not sure where I got them. I'm guessing Hobby Lobby. I have seen these at Hobby Lobby too. But these are so fun because I, I like to um, alter these and make this a little pocket and then cover the faces. Maybe we'll have to do a little of that too. So I'm going to set this over with the ephemera ideas because we're going to have to have a little ephemera making. Something soft and squishy, she says. <laughs> you, what do we got? Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, it is getting close to Halloween. I was scared to stick my hand in there. But soft and squishy equals napkins, which is always fun. Oh gosh, those are cute. Oh, and I love that. This is a, probably a Michael's design. Yep, I just, I love their napkins. I can always kind of tell when they're theirs, but there's so many parts and pieces to use in their napkins, I feel like. Oh, look at the cute truck. That is darling and some hearts and some flowers. Hearts and flowers from Amber. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. Oh my goodness. And then what do we have here? Pages out of books I have found here and there. Oh my goodness, she's got a whole, whole bunch of book pages here. Let's see what we have. English classic Shakespeare. Sing along the way. Oh, this is fun. It's blue. The printing's blue. Strayer Upton Arithmetics for the lower grades. She did some of her collaging in the journal was with these. That was cool. New revised English copyright of what I can't read. It's either 1979 or 1981 is my guess. And it's, I think it's Chinese cool. Junior Carol's hymn book, copyright 1906. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Let's sing community song book. Ooh, that's some great music paper. Thank you. Beginner's pencil tablet paper. Oh, that's always fun. I love the kids writing paper like that. Notebook paper, I dot, coffee dyed in the oven. Beautiful, look at that, ooh, 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 ooh. Out of a column pad I found at my local used store. Always good, always good. And this stuff coffee dyes nicely too. International Library of Music. So a bunch of music there, ooh, that's awesome. Child Life in Music, Plays, Dances, and Games. So she made a copy of the front. Oh, fun. Snippet collage papers I made. How fun. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, those are really fun going to use those to do some collaging. Thank you so much, Amber. What, where are we time-wise? We have about, we have about 20 minutes. Um, 
so let's let's make these couple of pieces of fem ephemera real quick that um we'll 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 do one of the bags where are my where are my um medieval mirage they are right here let's make a medieval mirage one Oh my gosh. Oh, no. You know what I should do is I should use Lemily's paper. Or, I mean, Amber's paper. Amber, thank you. Gosh, what a big treasure trove of awesome, fun stuff. Oh, I love this one. I love the bits and pieces of this one. How fun is that? Okay, let's, let's play a little bit just for a few minutes. I have to, uh, I have a luncheon to go to. So I think I thought I had just enough time to make an hour video. It's an hour-ish video. So um, we'll just see if we can't get a little, get a little, at least get the papers ready for this. And then maybe we'll just do an ephemera video later on or something. But... So, I want that to be at about there, right about there where my thumb is. <laughs> that's how, that's how uh, carefully I measure. So then we want to go down just a little bit so that we're. under where the pocket will be, like that. So that will go on there, like that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and then we could do that, which would continue it down, or we could do another piece, which is what I'm inclined to do here, because I, I like the patchworkiness of this. about there digging right in amber all this awesomeness you gave me okay so right about here ish Think. Okay, and then we can put that on. Of course, I got it just a tiny bit too, tiny bit too long. <clears throat> okay, and then we just glue those on. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna definitely ink around first, ink the bag, ink this, and then they, we just put them down like that. You can put a focal point on if you want, but I think that's just adorable, just like it is. How cute is that? So we're going to get back to these, um, but like I say, I have to, to go pick up a friend here, so, um, but I want to see... I was wondering if I had a, do I have a strip, is my question. Do I have a strip that would work with that? I just made a bunch of packs for my Etsy, and so I'm a little low, but, ooh, how about this? Little Timmy Holtz, it's always good. Or that one. I do, I do, I do have paper that will work. So did she just take a 12 by 12, do you think? I'm thinking so. So then she just pulled that over. So that's shorter. Actually, I think what this might be, 
as I feel it. It might be packaging. Amber, you'll have to tell us in the um, comments, but I think it might be packaging. That's the little thing on the, there. <laughs> okay, and then she collaged hers, and then she put papers in. Do I have some papers? I think I might. Look at those papers are just the right size. Those must be from doing a traveler's notebook is going to be my guess. Maybe I'll do one more of each. Okay. So really, she sewed around it and she collaged a bit on it, which this would be a good background. And of course the inside's already kind of nice, it needs to be inked. Okay, if, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to what would you say rearrange this a little bit because my paper isn't as long but i'm thinking i could have short pages in the front long pages or we could do this I can't get a hold of it. There we go. Maybe even a little more. Like that. like that okay okay got that blue one a little bit too long just go like that okay so that's ready to go in there so we just need to decorate this up a little bit finish this. I'm going to have to go for now, but gosh, I want to thank Nicolette, Emily, and Amber so much for the fun mail day, and um, I'll put shops up uh, in the description box and hope you'll check out their shops. Thanks so much again. Oh my gosh, such wonderful goodies, and um, I think the next video we're going to do um, a let's uh, a making ephemera so that we can finish these up and maybe do some more pieces. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I may be back to film after lunch. So have a great day, a grateful day, and we'll just see you next time. Bye-bye.